Hello and welcome to my video all about how to turn books into tree ornaments. I'm going to show you two different designs. One is a classic Christmas tree shape and the other is a cone shaped tree. You can do this with either a paperback book, hardback book or even loose sheets of paper, for instance sheet music. If you are using a paperback book that has glue down the spine then all you have to do is rip off the cover and you're left with a block of pages that is glued down the spine. You can advance further on in this video and ignore this first step. If you are using a hardback book or loose sheets of paper, please follow along with the first step. I'm using a hardback book, so I just use a Stanley knife and a ruler to cut as close to the spine as possible and keep cutting all the pages out that I need. For the cone tree all I'll need is 40 pages. So once I've done that and got my stack of loose pages I need to line them all up to make sure they're all the same size and now I'm going to glue them down one side to create the spine. To do this Put all your pages neatly into a stack, making sure that the side you're going to glue all lines up neatly. I'm going to glue the side that was originally next to the spine of the book. Then you simply use bulldog clips to keep this stack of pages together. I then use Aline's Tacky Glue, which is a form of PVA glue. You can use any type of PVA glue you like, to glue along one side of the stack. You need to cover the whole spine with the glue in a fairly thin layer. Once you have glued the central section of the spine you can then move the bulldog clips around to the edges of the book block so you can then glue the rest of the spine. You then just need to wait for this to dry, remove the bulldog clips and you have a block of pages that's glued along one side. You are then ready to begin making the tree. The first step is taking the top right corner of the front page and folding it down towards the spine so that the top edge of the paper lines up with the spine edge. You then basically repeat this step with the same page by taking the top right folded edge and folding it towards the left so that the folded edge then lines up with the spine. You can go over all of the folds you make with your finger, your fingernail or a bone folder if you have one to make sure they're all nice and sharp. Once you've done this you'll notice that there is a triangle of paper sticking out the bottom of the book block. This needs to be folded over and hidden. So the next step is to fold that triangle of paper upwards so that the fold lines up with the bottom of the book block. You then fold this triangle of paper back on itself and hide the triangle in between the two pieces of paper. So you just repeat all of those steps for every page until you get the look you want for your tree. The more pages you fold, the more volume your tree will have and it will be denser. The fewer pages you fold, the more space there will be between each of your folded pages. So once again, you fold the top right corner of the page down so it lines up with the spine on the left and you crease with your finger. You then fold again so that the top right edge of the page lines up with the spine on the left and then you fold the triangle of paper sticking out the bottom of the book block upwards so it lines up with the bottom of the book block then fold it back on itself and tuck it between the two pieces of paper like so. As you turn the folded pages over to the left, you can go over the creases with your fingers just to doubly make sure that they're nice and sharp and that they lay nice and flat. And you repeat again and again and again until you end up with this. So once you have something that resembles the tree that you want, you can now rip off the rest of the book block that you're not going to be using. This will leave you with just the folded pages of the tree. 
You can now glue the front folded page to the back folded page if you wish. But as long as you've folded enough pages, it should be enough just to position it in place and it will stay where it's put. You have now finished your tree. Of course, you can now embellish it if you wish. You can use glitter sprays, you can stick on ribbons and bows and all kinds of little embellishments to make it a bit more sparkly or a bit more festive. Please stay tuned for the next part of the video where I'll show you how to make a classic Christmas tree shaped tree. Okay, so here I am with the rest of my book block. I'm going to make the Christmas tree shape. For the cone tree, I used 40 pages, but for this Christmas tree, all I'm going to be using is 20 pages, so it'll have a lot less volume. You don't have to do exactly as I do, you can use many more pages if you wish. The first thing that I do is again fold the corner, the top right corner, down across the book so that it lines up with the book spine. I then sketch out the Christmas tree shape that I want on the front. I then use my Stanley knife to make the following cuts. The first cut being the middle diagonal where I just keep cutting with the Stanley knife until I go all the way through the paper. Obviously always be careful when you're using a Stanley knife and also make sure you're using a cutting mat underneath. I then cut the second diagonal line in the same way. I then cut the straight line going from the inside point all the way to the outside of the book block. You'll now have an excess of paper triangle shapes which you can now remove. You then cut the uppermost horizontal line going again from the inside to the outside of the book block. The next thing to do is draw a vertical line going from the uppermost point of your tree right to the top of the book block. Once again you cut along this line so it goes all of the way through the book block. Once you've done this, you simply fold the top right corners individually down across the book block. And there you have it, one Christmas tree all finished. As with the cone tree, you can now decorate the tree however you like, with glitter spray, paint, bows, whatever you like. As you'll notice with this Christmas tree, because I only used 20 pages, the folded pages are very spread out. In fact, 20 pages is only really enough to do a half circle of a tree. If you want to do a full circle, or you want the pages to be closer together, and the tree to have more volume, then feel free to do as many pages as you want. I hope you have fun following this tutorial and you make lots of trees for your home. Thanks very much for watching.